Hello class, today we are working on lesson 11 where we subtract fractions flat flexibly. And in this, in this lesson, our learning goal is to subtract fractions and mixed numbers by decomposing numbers and reasoning about their equivalents. In other words, um, we're going to be creating some equivalent fractions and we're also going to be doing some regrouping as we subtract these mixed numbers. So let's take a look at this problem here from our cool down. Lynn has a strip of paper that is seven and one fourth inches long and needs to be trimmed by two and three fourths inches. What is the length of the paper strip after it is trimmed? Explain or show your reasoning. So one of the key words we see here is trimmed. So what comes to mind when you hear the word trimmed? Is something being added or taken away? Something is being taken away. Therefore, we are subtracting. So we know that the strip of paper is seven and a quarter inches long. And it needs to be trimmed or cut by two and three quarters inches. So that means that we have to subtract two and three fourths from seven and a quarter. So the way we, we're going to do this is that we're going to write these fractions vertically like this. Seven. Seven and one-fourth minus two and three-fourths. We're lining up our fractions and our whole numbers. But wait a minute. I just ran into a little problem here. I can't take away three from one. I'm short by two. I can't do that. Therefore, what I need to do is that I need to somehow create an equivalent fraction for this fraction that would have a greater that would have a, a numerator that's big enough for me to be able to subtract three fourths here. Therefore, I can regroup this. This seven is, is six plus one. So I'm gonna take a one from here. I'm gonna cross it out, I'm gonna put six. And the one that I borrow from here, I'm going to put it on this side over here. And I know that in one hole, I have four fourths. Four out of four. This is equal to one. The one that I took from here. So I'm going to add this to this. So now my equivalent fraction is going to be six holes. And one plus four fourths. So that's five fourths. Six holes and five fourths. Now I can subtract the two and three fourths. So now this is my new equivalent fraction. This fraction is equivalent to this one, to seven and one fourth. But I, I regrouped it so that it looks like this. Now I can subtract five fourths minus three fourths. So five. Minus 3 is going to give us 2 fourths. That's our denominator. And now I subtract my whole number. 6 minus 2 will be 4. So that's our answer. 4 and 2 fourths. So what is the length of the paper strip after it is trimmed? We're working with inches. So 4 and 2 fourths inches. Now, let me just show you, um, because I want to make sure that you understand how we decompose this and we convert it into this. Let's look at the fraction again. We have seven and one fourth. Okay. Okay, concentrate over here. We have seven and one fourth. One out of four. Remember that this means 
this is a mixed number that this means seven plus one four seven and one four seven plus one fourth so this seven i'm going to decompose it into six plus one now this one i'm going to turn into a into a fraction this one i'm going to turn it into a fraction and since my denominator is four i'm interested in fourths so one whole sequence is when my denominator and numerator are the same. So that's 4 out of 4. And this I'm going to bring down because I'm adding this to this. My whole number, I'm bringing down 2. So that's 6 plus 4 fourths plus 1, four, one fourth. That's the same as 7 plus 1 fourth because this, this right here is 7. This, this is 7. This is equal to 7. So now, this, I can, I can add it up. 4 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 5 fourths. And this is, I'm going to bring it down. So that's how, that's how this, that's how this, that's how we got here. From here to seven and one fourth, that's how this became this, through this process here. And now we can subtract the what we need to subtract, which is two and three fourths. So now we can subtract two and three fourths. And we know that five minus three is two and we keep our same denominator, and, we, and then we subtract our whole numbers. Six minus two is four, and that's our final answer. Four and two-fourths inches. Or we can also say this is basically four and a half inches because this is an equivalent fraction to one half. All right. Very good class. I hope you were able to understand that.